go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 49, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Struvali. Let's see, who did they ban? Hmm, Havoc, Void, and Bishop. Okay. Let's see what they got planned for us. All right. Oh, boy. Interesting. All right. If I remember correctly, both of them do get um, armor ups, but this is a global defender, so that means I have to take in uh, X Magica to deal with him. Interesting. I think I know who. Um, is it Namor X Magica? I'll have to check that. But if so, I can bring Namor or Gallon for this path, but shouldn't be a problem there. Now, this one here, interesting, interesting. Um, Atuma, you just want somebody that doesn't uh, connect. I know Shuri can do it. And it looks like they just, they're ignoring the nodes and just placing tough defenders. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So uh, for both of these... Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I can bring in, uh, I'll bet you, I wonder if Namor could do that as well. Huh. And as far as um, that Weapon X, you guys already know, Lady Deathstrike, I'll bring in for that. So let me think, Lady Deathstrike. I can bring in Hulkling and, well, do I need Hulkling? If I'm going to take on, like, say, that Nimrod, then I can bring in Hulkling. But let me think about, let me, actually, let's, let's take a look real quick here. So for X Magica, okay, so that node um, won't let me nullify. So I definitely want someone who can handle that and I was right Namor is ex magica so um Namor will be coming in yeah um I think Namor should be able to handle both of those uh fights Let's go back in here real quick So Namor can do that path. And now Wolverine is ex Magica, but he's not Magic Thief, so we don't have to worry about that. And I want to bring in Lady Deathstrike for him. But this uh, Atuma 
can be problematic. So if I bring in somebody for a tumor, I may not be able to, I'll have to look. Okay, that's why they um, banned Havoc. Havoc is a, a great onslaught uh, counter. Um, Lady Deathstrike could take that Nimrod as well. So, all right. Looks like Hulkling will not be coming. Uh, I will do Namor. I will do Lady Deathstrike. And I will bring in probably Shuri or someone else that's a good Atuma counter that doesn't make any contact. I'll have to look and see if there's anyone else, but my Shuri is ranked up, so she'll come in uh, if I don't see anyone else. All right, let's get on with the fighting. So I'm going in with Namor, Shuri, and Lady Deathstrike. Uh, Namor is Ex Magica, so uh, should be able to handle that Odin pretty easily. Uh, very straightforward fight there. Uh, Odin does get an armor up, so I will have to deal with the um, power drain and all that stuff of the node, but all the damage that you would take because of that power draining gets reflected back. That's the power of a SIG 200 Namor. All right, so we're boosting up here. You know, can't hurt. Uh, Namor, he's not the greatest damage dealer at first until you get that special three off. But in this case, we're not going to get to a special three. All right. Um, so straightforward. You can see the power burn, power locking, but I'm not taking uh, any damage. You see my health? So very straightforward fight. Very easy. You know, let's bait this out right here. All right. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't block or evade or something like that. Well, anybody can evade his special too. I wanted to do something a little different, spice things up. Why evade the special two or block it when you can just take it to the face? Yeah, I'm sure that's what you guys would have done. You would have blocked it or you would have evaded it, right? Nah, that's not any fun. Let's just take it to the face instead. So anyway, let's get back to it. I ain't gonna say nothing. Nope, not gonna say it. So let's continue on and uh, finish off this fight which is a very straightforward and easy fight. You may notice I'm not playing around with that special two. Hey, look, I can dex what you know. It's nice when you swipe back and it actually moves back. It is awesome. I like it, don't you? So in case you couldn't tell, I was real salty after that. I was sitting there going, I don't, I don't even believe that. I was like, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Things like that happen. Especially in war. But it does happen in other places. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just uh, move on. All right. So now we've got Red Skull, who has been upgraded, by the way. So he's more annoying. But get this, you have a special lock and power burn, but I can also hit into his block, which also does a power burn. But again, Namor don't care. He reflects all of that. Okay, so we're good. We're loving it. Okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. It's a very, very 
even paced fight with Namor when you're using this particular method. Because you're not going to get to the special three, fire it off, get that big fury boost, and then just wreck, you know? Or what I like to do, and you can look it up on the channel, I've done this. I did a special three, then did another special three, then did another special three. Watch, look, and see. Namor with those furies, oh my goodness. He was insane, okay? But as you can see, that's how the Odin fight should have gone, you know? Very, very simple and straightforward. But it is what it is, we carry on. All right, next up, we've got a fight that I actually was a little concerned with, okay? And that was Atuma. I'm not used to fighting Atuma and certainly not with Shuri, but I heard she's a great counter for him, but I don't have the experience with her and fighting him. So I'm just like, all right, we're just gonna go in and uh, try not to parry him if I can help it, okay? And I'm like, okay, that's good damage already. That's looking nice, okay. All right, foom, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. we're good. Putting them shocks on him. And from what I understand, the shock should keep him from getting to his hydration or something like that, I heard. But he's, I'm like looking at his hydration and I'm like, okay, it seems to be getting up there, all right? And then I accidentally parried. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. We should be fine. We're going, all right? Let's see if we can bait that out. And I'm looking and I'm like, man, that's nice. She's doing some good damage. And then he went unstoppable. And I'm like, wait a minute. Now he's unstoppable. I said, I thought Shuri stopped that. I thought that was why she was so good because she stopped his unstoppable. So that caught me completely by surprise. And then I'm like, okay, now what do I do? He's unstoppable. And he already wrecked me all the way down to a little bit of health. And I'm like, you know what? I should have just used uh, Namor. Namor could do that fight. I parried, which I shouldn't have. But anyway, you know, look at that. He could do that fight just fine. And I'm like, I could have uh, had that spot for somebody else, you know? Look at that. Look at that. He did just fine. So... Probably, um, if I can bring him in, I may do that, or I may give Shuri another try. We'll see. I may learn a bit more about why that didn't work and how to use Shuri, because I really do want to use her. I took her up to rank five, and, and I don't think I ascended her yet, but I took her up to rank five for a reason. You know, I want to use her. So, here we go. This fight is sad because she is the perfect counter for um, Weapon X. Look at this. Just, he don't got nothing. Oh, just, mm, that was ugly. Was that, a, was that a 25K crit? Yeah. She bad. Bad to the bone. And I did take her up to rank two. That's right. So... That was the last fight I had in this war. Uh, someone took the other fight that I was assigned. Um, he's not even in the Alliance anymore. He just left without saying anything. That should tell you a little bit about him. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Let's, um, we'll be back in a little bit, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back in surprise, surprise. We won this war. What do you know? Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, we, we won pretty handily. Um, it wasn't really uh, close, so we did good. Shout out to our MVPs there. Uh, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.
Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.